Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Tigran Petrosian and Yakov Estrin. The game was played in 1968 in Moscow. Petrosian started with c4 English opening, e5, g3, knight c6, bishop g2, d6, knight c3, bishop e6, d3, g6, and an interesting move by Petrosian b4. At that time, this was a novelty. Sacrificing the pawn, black of course didn't accept the sacrifice and played queen d7. Let's have a look at knight takes b4 move. Then, this can be very unpleasant for black after queen b3. If a5, then a3, knight c6, queen takes b7, knight d4, threatening a check on c2. Simply rook b1, now the rook on a8 is hanging. If rook c8, then e3, knight f5, knight b5, with the idea of bringing the knight to a7 square. And this is just a very unpleasant position for black. White is just much better. Let's go back. After b4, we see queen d7, though of course playing a6 and stopping this pawn storm would have been better. Queen d7, b5, knight d8, knight f3, bishop g7, knight g5, e4, bishop b2, protecting the knight on c3, e takes d3, queen takes d3, a6, and in this position Petrosian thought that that's enough to play on the queen side. And now he starts an attack on the king side by playing h4. a takes b5, c takes b5, knight e7, queen d2. The idea is to protect the bishop on b2 and play knight e4. Later using the weakness of the dark squares. Black castled in this position, but if a move like h6 in order to kick back this knight on g5, then simply knight e4 can be very strong. If castling king side, then bishop takes g7, king takes g7, and now white has a very strong move. Can you find that move? Ready? An absolutely fantastic knight h7 is very strong. Of course, you can't capture because of knight f6 check. And if a move like after knight h7, if a move like rook h8, then simply queen b2 check is winning. Let's go back. After queen d2, we see castling kingside. h5. g takes h5. Rook takes h5. Bishop f5. Protecting the pawn on h7. Bishop e4. Bishop g6. It seems like black pieces are protecting black king in a very successful way. But in this position Petrosian just played a crushing move. Can you find his next move? Well, he just went for an exchange sacrifice. Rook takes h7. Bishop takes h7 and now bishop takes h7 check. King h8. And now white is castling queenside. Bringing the queen's rook into the attack. Knight g8, rook h1, knight h6, knight d5. Offering an exchange of dark square bishops in order to weaken black king. f6, knight e4, rook takes a2, rook takes h6, bishop takes h6, queen takes h6, queen g7, queen h4 and black resigned. Look at this, there is too much pressure on f6 square and black king is in trouble. Well, if a move like queen takes h7, then simply bishop takes f6 check, rook takes f6, queen takes f6, and white is also capturing the knight on d8, king h7, knight f6 check, and white is winning. What an instructive game by Tigran Petrosian. First starting a pawn storm on the queen side, then attacking on the king side, going for an amazing exchange sacrifice. This is just a masterclass game. 
your comments and questions please and thanks for watching. Good luck.